guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Sim Racing Girl and I'm here again with another video on iRacing with the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup. So most of you probably already know the reason I'm making this video series on iRacing is because I want to see if I can get close to the lap times of the drivers who are competing in the Porsche Esports Super Cup series. So the next race is going to be on Laguna Seca on the 14th of September and it's going to be the second last race. So there are only two more races left. Laguna Seca and Monza on the 28th of September so it's getting pretty interesting and we're soon going to know who's going to go home with this big money pool of $100,000. So enough chit chat, let's do some laps. So for this video I have uh, enabled my motion sim so if you see my rake shaking around please uh, don't think it's broken. <laughs> I just got my D-Box on which I will be doing a review about very soon, so stay tuned for that. But for now, for this track, I have the weather adjustments on its lowest and the time of the day is uh, morning. So if you want to do comparable lap times, please keep in mind that you use the same settings as I do, so the lap times are comparable. Unlike my other video, I'm gonna try to focus and set a decent lap time here um, because I feel quite confident on Laguna Seca. It's a nice track, uh, but it needs a bit of attention, especially the car. The car is basically begging me to be focused on. It's a tricky car to drive with. Uh, it's a rear engine car, no ABS, no traction control, and uh, really, you need, really need to do uh, trail braking with this car. So um, the distribution of the weight is more leaned towards the back of the car because it's rear engined. So that also means that the front of the car is very light and easily understeers. So by trail braking, you basically put weight on the front wheels of the car as long as possible. So you kind of try to balance the car and have more control over the car. What I also did uh, because I noticed I spin around always at the corkscrew, I thought uh, I'm gonna forward my brake bias. So that's what I did as well. So the distribution of the braking pressure is um, more applied to the front brakes, which also results in less spinning around. So enough about that. There are mixed opinions about this car. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's quite forgiving on the throttle though. So that's a good thing. Uh, once you hit the apex, you can almost immediately go full throttle uh, right away. So you have a nice corner exit. It's gonna be quite challenging to see the race on Laguna Seca of the Porsche Esports Super Cup Series. Um, I'm curious if people will overtake at the corkscrew here. That's gonna be quite interesting to watch. Uh, I remember in 2008 when Valentino Rossi overtook Stoner, which was legendary, and then in 2013 Marquez did the same thing with Rossi. That was pretty cool to watch. So I'm gonna enter my first lap, my first attempt to set a decent time, so I'm gonna try to focus now and don't talk. I missed the apex there. So here I go to fifth gear and then go back to fourth gear to take this corner, which is also a tricky corner because I lose a lot of speed there. And then here we enter the corkscrew, which is also risky if you go too fast, uh, full throttle there. The chances of spinning out are really high.
so that was a 126 that's way too wide let's see if we can still make something out of it sometimes it's possible but that was definitely not the way you take that corner Okay, that was some good catching of the car. Almost lost it there. That was again way too wide. I'm making too many mistakes, people. Okay, this is going to be a one So this is going to be a 1 minute 25.253 so that's my best time I did a 125 low so which is pretty good I think I could just my optimal says I could do a 124.465 which maybe after um, some more laps I could maybe do but if you do laps on Laguna Seca uh, with the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup on iRacing make sure you put the weather adjustments to the lowest and the time of the day to morning if you really want to compare it with my lap times 
So guys, that was it for this video. So I did a 125, 253. So if you want to share your lap times, please do so in the comment section below. I will also put a link in the description that explains the format of the Porsche eSports Super Cup series. Uh, I got a few questions about that on my YouTube channel. So that's why I put it in the link in the description below. And I will also put a link to watch the next race, Laguna Seca on the 14th of September live. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.